The next thing that we're going to cover is the three steps to turn back the clock on hip pain and arthritis. The first thing that we want to cover is who is this video for? So if you're watching this video and if you're wondering if this is for you, ask yourself this question. Do you have hip pain with walking, standing for long periods of time, doing stairs, so going up and down stairs, getting dressed, especially standing on one leg, running or jogging, sleeping, especially laying on one side or rolling to the other side, rolling out of bed in the morning, getting in and out of a car, putting your socks and shoes on where you cross one leg over the other, or sitting for long periods of time. If you have pain with any of those activities, then this video is the for The second you. thing that we want to look at in deciding if this video content is for you is this scenario. If you're in a physician's office and your doctor says, Mary or Joe, you have this condition. So you can fill in the blank there. It might be high cholesterol, it might be heart disease, it might be uh, COPD or diabetes. You have this condition. There are three different ways that you can respond. So to the that. first option is you can ask for a pill. And when we see somebody that asks for a pill, very rarely will this video content help them. Because, uh, frankly, a pill is a very simple way out. Basically, when somebody asks for a pill, they're saying, Doctor, yes, I have these symptoms, and I want you to minimize these symptoms for me. And in exchange for that, I'm really not willing to do any work other than take a medication, take a pill. If that is you, then this video content is not for you. The second thing that you can do is, which a lot of people will say is, Doctor, just tell me what to do. Just tell me anything, and, and that's what I'll do. And another odd thing happens there. Whenever somebody says that, so if that is you as well, this video content likely is not for you. And here's why. Because when somebody says that, it's usually a deeper reflection that they'll grasp at straws from anywhere and everywhere. And in the end, they won't follow through with anything. The third thing that we run into is the searcher. And that is the person that this video was designed for. And what the searcher is, is they will say, Doctor, I want you to give me your best possible advice because I want to take your information and anybody that you recommend I see who specializes in this condition, I want to get the best possible information and I'm going to buy books and I'm going to watch videos online and I'm going to search for the best possible information so I can make an informed decision on my own health because I recognize that I am my own greatest ambassador for the health of my body. That person, that is called the searcher. And that's who we're looking for. So when we're working with a searcher, they'll typically look at it from this format. And this is the way that they best take control of their own health and their, their own well-being. The first thing that they'll do is they'll try to correct the problem with movement or exercise. So if they have Achilles pain or if they have hip pain, back pain, neck pain, they will try to correct the problem first through movement, exercise, corrective posture, postural changes as well. And we have a, a YouTube channel with a ton of videos for various problems, uh, many ranking number one in the world for uh, whatever condition it may be. The next thing that they'll do is hands-on therapy. This may be chiropractic care, massage therapy. I'm biased, I'm a physical therapist, so it could be hands-on physical therapy as well. And they will only go to step number two when they first fail, movement, exercise, corrective posture changes. So the only time that they'll ever go to medication is when they first fail these, the, the first two steps. So the next step is medication, that's number three. They will only go on to injections once one, two, and three fail. And then surgery is the absolute last resort for the searcher. So the rule is never proceed to the next step without failing the previous step. If you are a searcher or just have decided to become one, then the following video content is for you. So let's cover now the three steps to turn back the clock on hip pain and arthritis now that we've determined that you're a searcher and you're ready for the information and you're likely to use it. So step number one is the single best exercise to do for hip pain is a movement called standing hip abduction. It comes up in the research time and time again as being the most effective at strengthening the muscles that have to do with your hip pain and arthritis. So in the description of this video, I'll post a link to a PDF file that we have on our website under home exercises with instructions of how to properly do a standing hip abduction. But basically you can stand at your kitchen sink or at another 
area where you have uh, support that you can grab onto and you, you raise one leg straight out to the side. That's step number one. Step number two is take a look at your diet and exercise. And I'm sure you're sick of your doctor saying it or it being in People Magazine or in all the newsstand articles. Everybody talks about diet and exercise. I'm going to give you three resources or three things that you can do to most effectively address diet and exercise and create a lifelong plan that you can stick with. Uh, the first thing to do is read a book called Eat to Live. Again, I'll post a link uh, for the book, uh, but it's by, written by Dr. Joel Furman, who is a family physician who specializes in uh, family medicine and diabetes, and he is in the uh, New York, New Jersey area. He wrote a book. It is absolutely excellent. The basic premise of the book is to get the most nutrients from the calories you eat. The second book is a book written by Timothy Ferris, um, and that book is titled Four Hour Body. Timothy Ferris is a student. He is not a specialist, but what he did was he went all over the world for his own body and interviewed the top specialists in many different areas, everything from training for the NFL Combine to living longer to running long distances uh, to losing weight to building muscle, whatever that may be, and he interviewed a dozen or 15 different specialists and put it all together in the book, The 4-Hour Body. You should take a look at that. It is excellent and it is full of tools and resources uh, that you can use to get better information to make the best decisions on diet and exercise. And the third thing to do is to walk 15 minutes a day. Walking, if you can do it pain-free for your hip, is the best exercise to do. And you need as little as 15 minutes a day, six days a week, just to get your, your blood flow moving and to prevent your hip from getting worse. People that we see who are able to walk 15 minutes a day do much better from PT and, uh, higher likely, and have a much higher likelihood of avoiding surgery than those people who aren't moving at all, who are sedentary in their workplace and their home life. And the next step is this. Don't do step number three until you have first tested yourself on the first two steps for 11 days. So do an 11-day test for yourself of doing nothing more than the single best exercise and also handling any changes that you may need to make for your diet and exercise and promise yourself that you're going to stick to it for 11 days. Only if that fails, proceed on to the next step. And step number three is this, to turn back the clock on hip pain and arthritis. It is to find the best hands-on physical therapist in your area. If you live abroad and you do not live here in central Pennsylvania, here's how to do it. You're going to want to call the physical therapist or the physiotherapist if you live internationally and you're going to call, when calling the schedule, and you're going to ask them this question. Does your therapist routinely do a grade 5 hip mobilization? You may not need that for your hip, but you want a therapist that knows what that is and does it routinely. That will help you find the best physical therapist or physiotherapist in your area. If you do live here in central Pennsylvania, you can reach us, the Hip Pain Specialists of Central Pennsylvania, at 717-901-9487. And the Hip Pain Specialists of Central Pennsylvania are at two locations, one in Cumberland County, one at Dolphin County. And you can reach us by calling 717-901-9487 and scheduling an appointment with the Hip Pain Specialist. As a special bonus for watching this video, we have an offer for you. If you live in Cumberland County, Dolphin County, or Perry County, Call 717-901-9487 or click the link below for a free book written by the Hip Pain Specialist of Central Pennsylvania. And that book is titled Pain-Free Motion for Your Hip, Relief Without Medications, Injections, and Surgery. So click the video link below or call 717-901-9487 to request your free book. Again, that is only for people living in Cumberland County, Dolphin County, or Perry County here in Central Pennsylvania.